Rightio, so of all the lists I have here, I made them big so I wouldn't lose them. Don't need those ones. We have our turbo list. Basically we're going to have so many parts to throw in here, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, we've got all the fueling to go ahead, we've got all the oil stuff, the feed to the turbo, all the pressures, um, vacuum lines to go in, we've got uh, manifolds, both intake and exhaust manifolds, we've got the Haltec to wire in, the gauges to wire in, then base map it, tune it, tweak it and boost it. That's a lot. First of all though, we just pretty much need to move everything out of the way. Um, we want a nice clear engine bay to work with so that we can just get in there. I've got to replace all the gaskets and the radiator's leaking as well. So we've got to do that at, at the same time. Front mount intercool is going to have to fit somewhere in the front here uh, while still being able to fit a bull bar. It seems like it's not a very common thing to be able to pull that off on a surf. So we'll find a way and we'll show you a way. Yeah, I don't really know where to start. Let's just pull everything off, shall we? And that there is everything removed. Quick and easy in movie magic. In reality, this was like a day, another day of just cleaning things. And finally we got gaskets and we can start putting things back together. So fuel rail runs along, that is filthy. Fuel rail runs along above our intake valves here. They squirt right into the, um, the eight intake holes. So I've already removed it all and here's our old injectors. They are scungy and scoty. They've done the job, seals are looking dry, worn. Who knows if they actually spray properly. Most likely these are the injectors from 1996 when the vehicle was built. Um, so they're probably well past their due by date. We're going to get rid of those and instead we have our brand new ones going in. Our 750s. These are going to be lovely and squirty. Um, giving us just the right amount of fuel. Plus with the ECU we can adjust how long these stay open for and everything in between. To really just get this running perfectly. Fingers crossed. So let's just go ahead and install it. Now after you remove your fuel rail from your line here, she's going to sit like this. Once you pop it out, your ejectors are going to be sitting in these four holes. You just simply go through, yank each one of them out, clean it up, good to go. Um, now I've gone through and painted mine purple because I've also painted my rocker cover purple uh, because I've got a purple wastegate going in, a purple uh, catch can going in. So yeah, I don't know, it's a theme I'm going for I guess. but. We've got our new injectors here, uh, they're also purple. <laughs> um, we're just gonna, I've got a little bit of fuel down here, we're just gonna sort of dip the end of them just to moisten up that o-ring there so then that slip in nice and easily onto our fuel line. We'll go one, two, three, four and then they literally just drop on in. Not bad, eh? Real easy. So we'll keep going. Next one, a little bit of fuel just to sort of lube it up. Make it nice and easy for that to slip in. Last one going in like so. We'll dip you and dip you. And there we are, nice purple <laughs> injector line. They literally just slip them into the holes and they seat down nicely with a few bolts going on top. Not bad. We'll go through and crimp them up, tighten them down. And then that's basically the fuel injectors Done. Replaced. We can scrub that off the list. Fuel injectors done. Fuel regulator is going to be going on. We can't put the intake manifold in until we have put our exhaust manifold on because the exhaust manifold is going to have the turbo on it. The turbo needs the water lines that feed in behind the intake manifold that I have to reroute back to the turbo. So next step I guess is probably put the rock cover back on now that it's finished drying. Let's check that out. I made my job a little easier by just going out and getting a complete regrind gasket kit. So that gave me all my in in intake, exhaust, all my little gaskets, even my bloody seals along the outer edges of this. Um, got a head gasket in there. Whole thing, basically it just it's great because it, I'm rebuilding the engine to a point, not really. I did get all the stuff I need for this. So we might as well, without scratching my new paint, chuck this one on. Once it's all laid out, go ahead and start pushing it straight down. Rather than running your, your finger along in the bead. Basically when you do that, you're sort of stretching the gasket and you end up with an extra bit at the end that doesn't fit in. By pushing it straight down, you're not stretching the gasket out and you'll end up with the perfect amount. The amount doesn't change actually, but you know what I mean. There we are, not bad, not bad. 
seals and gaskets are good to go got a handful of clean bolts gonna probably find somewhere dirty to put them so <laughs> there we are and then time to slip this thing on the right way around She's so clean and fancy now. Look at that, fits nicely over those seals. Jam some of these in. Yes, this is simply just a cosmetic thing, but like if I'm taking it off to sort of spruce it, I actually didn't have to take it off to do any of this. I took it off to paint it actually. <laughs> I guess to do the seals too. So now there we go, I had to take it off to do the seals. So if I'm gonna take it off, I might as well like spruce it up anyway like I don't know we kind of came to this motto that if you gotta if you break something upgrade it because you got to buy the new part anyway why not spend a bit more money and, and buy the upgraded version so that you don't break it again um, and if I have to take something off to get to something then I might as well spruce up the thing I've taken off um, anyway say so the you know the intake manifold had to take that off to get access to um, the water at the back there and kind of the fuel rail so I spruced up the manifold too, you know, new gaskets, cleaned it all up, got rid of all the crud sitting in it, all that's gone through it. Um, just so that when everything goes back together, I've got a nice clean engine as far as I can make it. Without pulling the whole thing apart. She's going to look red once she's up and running. Damn, I'm excited! We will crack this down and basically that's going to be... It's only a very short video actually, oh, I missed that one little thing to hold the um, thing in place you know what I mean yeah you know what I mean yeah um, but a very short video this one it's literally just been the introduction and me realizing I needed more parts um, so we've got a few more odds and ends on order to round off all our little fittings like this one here um, and shortly we'll be kicking into it Next week we will be bolting the turbo on the side, I'm waiting for the oil uh, adapter to arrive but then we're going to be bolting the turbo on the side, we might pre-bolt it up um, just to get our water sorted because once that is sorted we can then put the manifold in place so BAM! We'll crack that down but otherwise guys, short video but it's an introduction to what's happening and it's super exciting from here um, especially once that big ass sporty boy goes on, that's going to be real cool. Alright, we'll catch you in the next one, cheers team.